The making of the IntelliFind watch demo. The objective of this uh, little video is to show you how the IntelliFind watch demo was created. First step is to launch VisionScape front runner. Here you see the flash and in a second we will see the VisionScape front runner GUI. Select a camera, take control of it and enter the user ID and password. Okay, since we're starting from scratch with a job here, we will select the button for Create New Program. This creates a job with nothing more than an inspection and a snapshot in it. We'll check that we have a decent image of the watch, and the objective here is to track the watch hand, the second hand, all the way around the circle and to locate it despite the clutter and the variation in illumination in the background. So we'll use the IntelliFind tool for this. The simplest way to add that to the job is to simply do a left mouse click and drag and up comes the tool palette, select the IntelliFind tool and we will have the two regions of interest required. The outer one is the area that will be used to search for the second hand and the second one is the area that will be used to create a model of the second hand. Next step is to train that model. Um, let's take a little bit more of the hand both, uh, down towards the center. Uh, hit train and it is done through the first step of training the model. Now we want to check that model and maybe change it a little bit so let's go into the edit model um, into the IntelliFind setup in the editor step tree editor and select edit model. Um, crop model will bring it into view and there is the outline model being used for the first location. In this case I'm going to reduce the um, level of decimation and check it out like this. That I think is going to be a better model for uh, doing the first location. So I'll say I'll accept that and move on to the detail outline. Clicking on the detail outline tab I can now see a more refined model of the uh, that will be used for the precise location. I think I'll reduce the level of decimation there as well and now I'm looking at a model that has a good outline of the outside of the hand and has the potential for adding uh, outline of the ins inside. A control click um, will add that outline and add will bring it into the model. I'm pretty happy with that model so I can hit apply and OK. OK, let's try it out. So let's do a run once and see if it finds it. Did very well there. So we'll let it continue around the circle, just checking it out in setup mode. Looks pretty good. Uh, we'll see if it crosses the 45 line there happily. Of course, the big test is going to be whether it gets past the minute hand without getting confused by the background. OK, it's uh, now 10 seconds to uh, knowing the answer to that question. And here we come. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we've successfully crossed the minute hand. Looks pretty good. Um, we'll stop the setup. I'm going back into the editor to make one more adjustment. And that is to reduce the acceptance level very slightly so the fit doesn't have to be quite as good before we get the yellow cross. OK, that's ready to go. We'll save it because it's always a good idea to save the job. And we'll call this one Watch Demo. We'll call it Watch Demo 2 because I've done it once before. And OK, ready. So now time to download the program to the Hawkeye Smart Camera. Camera is now going into the device. And we'll be ready to run. OK, let's run it. And remember, we're running open loop here with no um, uh, no input um, provided. So here he goes. And we should be seeing this running quite swiftly. There we are, going past the, uh, past the minute hand again. No problem there. We'll observe it all the way around for one cycle. Don't want any confusion. Uh, note that this can um, work perfectly well with quite a big variation in um, illumination, getting darker, 
getting brighter. The IntelliFine tool is not um, affected by the level of illumination because it just looks for edges. The situation here is sort of trivial, finding a, a hand on a watch, um, but think of it as a representation of what you might be doing if you had a system which used IntelliFind to locate an object at random orientation uh, for pickup by a uh, robot or some other kind of uh, part handling device. Going by the bright spot successfully, uh, traversing over some of the text, no problem at all, and once more across the minute hand without any confusion. So I think this is a demonstration that the IntelliFine tool is pretty powerful at uh, locating objects in a confusing background um, and is very capable of finding devices at random orientation. So the conclusion here would be to um, shut down the, um, the program running on the um, smart camera, come back to the setup, and then shut down VisionScape. This concludes the um, making of IntelliFind watch demo video clip.